Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the Daily Stock Market and look at that, up $600 on the day. So we're having a great day yesterday and today so far. Comment below how you are doing with your stock market portfolio. We're up 48% on the year. And as you can see, my portfolio and pretty much anyone's portfolio goes through peaks and valleys. It's not just a straight line up. And you can see that we're making a little bit more of a bounce back this week here. So we need a strong remainder of the week to get back to new all all-time highs in the account and break $60,000 in the accounts again. So what this video is going to be about is a quick stock market update. And we're also going to do a cryptocurrency update. A lot of people are asking me about ADA, Cardano. So let's go over some of those kind of things. So first up, we have Chinese stocks to talk about. They are going up. Alibaba's up 6%. Uh, JD.com is up. Even DIDI is up too. So Baba has been beaten down 19% in the last three months, 37% in the last year. But if you look at their revenue and their net income, it's all spot on. So honestly, and if you even look at what analysts are saying, Baba should be trading around $200 to $250 per share, in my opinion. Also have a good swing trade on Wix, currently up 6% on the day. And as you can see, they're a good swing trade because look how rapidly they go up and down. They fall, they recover. We have $1,700 just in my Robinhood account. I think I have another like $1,500 on my Webull account. And I keep adding to my position on Wix too. We're currently up only 4.2%, but I'm looking for at least a 20% gain on Wix before I start selling. Now, Wish is up 3.7%, but it made its movement very recently. Mid market, getting here close to closing market, Wish has made a 3.8% movement, and hopefully we'll see them continuing to show the green throughout the rest of the week and going up around 10% on the rest of the week. Huya is another Chinese gaming stock, and they're up 10% on the day, but they've been getting beaten down in the last month down 15%. 25% in the last three months, but a lot of these stocks that are getting beaten down, they're good money making opportunities. That's what I tell you guys all the time. Even if they only go up 10% on the day, 20% on the next few weeks, that's still a great 10 or 20% that you can take advantage of. Now, it's hard to time the bottom at some of these, especially like recently with some of these, like Huya. You know, it's pretty much impossible to time the bottom here because it looks like the support was around $13 and it ended up going as low as $10 or $11 per share. So in the, that situation, the best thing you can do is just buy slowly and comfortable amounts at the supports. So here is 13, 12. And once it gets to $12 per share, 13, you start buying a comfortable amount. And then once it goes lower and lower, you can add more and more because it's going to hit a bounce back at some point. The King is up six percent on the day we're up 27 percent on our position we already sold a lot of profits but we're holding some for long term also remember they did buy genog i think DraftKings is a good company you're gonna want to hold on to it for at least a few years have a long-term mindset with DraftKings. now if you're looking to get in i would say under 50 dollars and closer to 45 dollars is going to be a lot more attractive, in my opinion, for something like DraftKings. Like we talked about, DD is up 12%. Win Resort is back to $100. They're up 7% on the day. We're up 4%, nothing major. But I wanted to buy closer to $75. Unfortunately, Win never got as low as $75. So it'll be interesting to see if they do, if this is a fake out breakout for the entire stock market, if it's a fake out breakout for just Win. It'll be interesting to see if these stocks could actually go lower. A lot of these stocks last week formed new support levels. So we want to pay attention to these support levels because they're bouncing up this week. Let's talk about what's going on with cryptocurrency currently. Dogecoin down 8%. Bitcoin down 3.5%. You know, we have Ethereum down 4%. Ethereum's down to $3,100 per share. And obviously, it was going to have a little bit of a pullback here, up 45% in the last month. We're going to see some type of pullback. You know, I think $3,000 is going to definitely go too. But I honestly am probably not going to be buying any more Ethereum till I see it at $26, $2,500 or below again. 
Now, obviously, I have a huge gain on Ethereum. If we jump into my Coinbase account, you can see I have $35,000 just on my Coinbase account, and we have $4,000 just in Ethereum, $5,000 in Bitcoin just on my Coinbase account. And look at that. It was at $37,000, and just today, it's down to $35,000. So it seems like when the stock market does good, you know, the cryptocurrency doesn't do too good. But when the stock market's not performing as much as we want it to, or there's a lot of red days, it seems like cryptocurrency's there to pick up the slack. You know, a lot of people want me to talk about Cardano, and look at that. They're already down 7% today, and they got as low as $2.59. All right, I was posting on my close friends list my candid thoughts about Cardano. They're up around 125% in the last month, okay? I have only $3,200 left. As you can see, I've been transferring large amounts. Transferred over $3,000 off of my Coinbase account to my Coinbase Pro account and took profits on ADA at $3 per share. So we caked out on Cardano. We bought at very low, about $119 per coin, and we sold at the very top. Now, I'm not saying that $3 is the very top, but I think that's a pretty good price to start selling Cardano especially if you have a large amount, like I had like $3,000, $7,000 of Cardano, which was way too over leveraged for me personally. That's why I started unloading some Cardano. Personally, I like Cardano for long term. I think they're going to be one of the big five cryptocurrencies to be looking out in the next two to five years. Personally, I think that cryptocurrency will Cardano specifically rose too quickly, 125% in the last month for them not to see some type of pullback. I personally think that it will be going down to $2.15, but there's even a chance we can see it as low as $1.50 again. It depends how hard Cardano starts crashing. And honestly, a lot of it relies on Bitcoin also. So remember, I always tell you guys, make sure you're tracking Bitcoin because when Bitcoin moves, other coins move more dramatically. So just because Bitcoin had a 3% drop today, You'll see some other coins like Doge, for example, down 7%, other coins down 6%, Litecoin's down 6%, down to $175 per coin. So make sure you are watching Bitcoin because if we see Bitcoin go to new all-time highs, for example, when I broke 50K this weekend, what happened? Every other coin started rallying, you know, and when Bitcoin is up 40% in the month, other coins like Cardano are up 127% on the month. Overall, I think we see some weakening in the crypto market. I don't think the weakening is going to be here to stay. What you'll see is on August 12th, we were at new all-time highs. And then remember, we saw some weakening for one, two, three, four, five days pretty much after August 12th. It was like a whole week of weakening. People were scared. But then we saw a whole week of great things. So don't be scared with cryptocurrency. Have a long-term mindset. Watch Bitcoin. Make sure you're not over leveraging yourself. Don't invest too much in a Bitcoin. Try to make it only 20% of your portfolio size or less, depending on your risk. Okay, so if you have more risk than other people, or if you have more expendable cash that you're not too worried about losing, or if you plan on just stuffing it away for a year or two years, it could be a good idea to go closer to 40% of portfolio diversity into cryptocurrency. Now, I'm not suggesting that for everyone by all, all means. I think that 10 to 20% of cryptocurrency in your portfolio works for most people. But obviously, it's not a one shoe fits all for everyone. You have to find out what kind of investor you are, what kind of risk that you like, because Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general is going to swing like crazy. If you can't handle 7% swings, 20% swings, 30% swings, then cryptocurrency might not be the investing style for you. But if that's what gets you up in the morning, then more power to you. All right, guys. So I hope you did enjoy that video. It was just a short one. I wanted to do a quick update on the stock market for you guys. I wanted to show you my portfolio here. We're up $18,000, 49% in the last year. And if you want to be a next level stock market investor, message me on my Instagram here. You'll see the daily stock market, 114,000 followers, over 400 positive testimonials on my highlights. So check them out for yourself. Success number four is the most recent. Success number three is also very recent, but you have to go through them because there's over 300, 400 testimonials 
on my highlight section of my Instagram, so check that out. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway on this video if you made it this far. Comment below. All you have to do is comment below what stocks do you want me to talk about in the next video. Screenshot it and then send it to me on Instagram and I'm picking five random people to win $5 each. So it's super simple, super easy. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, share it with a friend, comment below what stocks you want me to talk about in the next one. And I'll see you in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.